Internal Revenue Service IRS tax news. Spear phishing targets tax pros and other businesses. Honestly, the world's a crazy place these days, I'm telling you. Criminals trying to skewer us tax pros with a spear? We're not fish, you loons. Take your spear into the ocean and do all the fishing you want. Dang, people can't even tell what a fish is these days. Honestly, these are probably the same people strolling around naked in the woman's spa with their Johnsons hanging out. Ladies asking them, what in the world do you think you're doing? And they're like, don't worry. I'm just another woman, just like you all, who happens to be looking to do some spear fishing. Are any of you ladies by chance tax professionals? I mean, it's like, wait a second. Might it be that these dudes actually do know what stuff is, but like maybe don't care? IRS Tax Tip 2022-100, June 30th, 2022. Tax pros take their responsibilities to protect client data seriously. No in common identity theft scams. There's a link to that here. Like spear phishing is one way they can do that. Spear phishing scams can target specific individuals or specific groups. So oftentimes when we think about spear phishing, we think about those mass emails that go out, which we might not think is much of a threat because they're not very sophisticated looking and therefore we can identify them quite clearly. But there are other tactics that can be used for spear phishing, such as more targeted spear phishing at an individual or a group, making that first email look a lot more real. And if you put your mind in the mind of the scammer here and you think about these different methods they might be using, when they use the mass method and they're sh shooting out these unsophisticated uh, looking emails, that might actually be by design because their scamming process might include something like giving them money through say through say a gift card or something like that and so if that's going to be your end target that you have to actually get someone to give you money through a gift card then you probably want your email almost to be unsophisticated going out to a whole bunch of people and the people that are responding to it are probably those that are are less knowledgeable about this stuff more naive about this stuff and more likely to go through the whole process and basically give money through like a gift card which would usually trigger a lot of people to say hey this doesn't look quite right uh so then of course if they're targeting more specific individuals like tax professionals then they're going to use a different design because clearly they're looking for the identity of the tax pros or trying to get access to the software or something like that possibly access to the computer there could be a bigger target there because now of course that information could be much more valuable now that we have like all these you know tax credits that are going out and stuff so so there so so we still have we got to be quite aware of that obviously they might come after tax pros acting like a client which would take a lot more targeted kind of responses and possibly more than one email than just a mass email that would go out there but then if you have your mind in the mind of the scammer the the payoff might be worthwhile because then you could get access to a whole bunch of people's social securities and file fraudulent returns or whatever. Spear phishing scams affect all types of businesses and organizations, including small businesses with a client database like uh, pros firms, tax pros. So they're after the, the client's information. Just leave us, leave the poor tax professionals alone. We're always stressed out, worried about the taxes already for crying out loud. Thieves use spear phishing to steal computer system credentials. So spear phishing scams target tax pros to steal their account credentials or installed malicious software. So if they can steal the credentials or put the malicious software, they might get access to the actual tax software. Uh, and that's where you get, you know, the sensitive data or possibly file a tax return remotely, which would be not good, possibly more likely on like online software rather than desktop, but maybe both in any case. Thieves can steal client data and the tax preparer's identity to file fraudulent tax returns for refunds. So that's the goal. <clears throat> refunds are going to be quite more valuable these days for low income individuals because of the increase on things like refundable credits. So some common types of spear phishing emails include emails that claim to be from a tax preparation application provider that have the IRS logo reference uh, legitimate IRS programs or e-services and use subject lines like action required. Your account has now been <clears throat> put on hold. Now, uh, usually these, these emails you can kind of pick them out because the IRS usually kind of corresponds by mail, not so much on the email. The, the fact that the IRS is changing and try to modernize a little bit, although they're doing it quite slowly, 
which I think is actually a good thing as long as they can do it well and, and have a good systemized process and have everybody understand can also lead to people now all these changes that are happening be more subject to uh, falling victim to these kind of emails that look more real because these because the iris is trying to change trying to modernize and possibly trying to get into the world of email as opposed to the snail mail so they're they're moving into like the prior century almost so it's good for them they're pushing forward once someone has clicked the malicious link the scam email will send them a fake website which prompts the victim to enter their credentials so then they they're going to want the credentials obviously that's not good so if they do this thieves can use this information to file fraudulent returns by using the stolen credentials other spear phishing emails may pose as potential new clients use malicious links or attachments that will download malware into the victim's computer to steal information so this is probably could be more sophisticated because you could have multiple emails that someone is in correspondence with you building trust with them as a client or potential client and then they send you the malicious software and so on so if someone suspects an email is phishing attempt they shouldn't respond click any links uh, in the email or open any attachments tax pros can use these tips to help protect uh, client data or is attacking the poor the poor def tax professional it's just somewhat where's the security summit that needs to come along and deal with these people just like the justice league would anyways sorry for the outburst tax pros can use these tips to help uh, protect client data use separate personal business email accounts protect email accounts with strong passwords and two-factor authentication install an anti-phishing toolbar to help identify known phishing sites use security software products with anti-phishing tools use security software to help protect system from malware and scam emails for viruses never open or download attachments from unknown centers including potential clients <clears throat> request additional information to help verify their identity or call them to confirm the email is from them so you might want to have actual verbal <laughs> discussion with them we give them a little bit more verification uh, before uh, you, you know that way send password protect protected and encrypted documents only uh, don't respond to suspicious or unknown emails if the phishing email is irs related save the email as a file attach that file to to an email and send phishing irs.gov will the phishing irs.gov solve your problem probably not but you're trying to report the fact that these people are doing it they can build up their database and so you're doing your, you're doing your part by doing that. It's not going to help you probably individually, but you're doing what you're doing your part, man. That's what I'm talking about. In any case, there's that email here. There's a link to this some of this link stuff. I think there's a few links up top. There weren't many links in this one, but there was at least one link, and there'll there'll be a link to this in the description.